Yo, 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 it's Hero Zone. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the channel. And today I will be discussing, you know, you read from the title, about the new Mario Strikers game. So, as you guys already know, the new Mario Strikers Battle League is coming out in a few days. For the newcomers that subscribe to me, I have made certain videos explaining about this game and my opinions are still the same as it was announced back then in February. From what I have heard and seen, I have said the game will be a hit or miss. The real reason why I say it can be a hit or miss because there's been a lack of content and I know everyone has mixed opinions about when it comes to lack of content. The game still like is feel it still feel like it's missing. Um the, you guys can tell like I said before I made a, a couple of um videos explaining that my video have was showing about like the single player aspect of the game like there be we cut battles and I think that's the only I think there's more single player stuff going on with that and it's nothing wrong with it I never had a pro like I said there's nothing wrong with it uh, striker is a striker is gonna be a single player and multiplayer game it don't matter as long as it has a bunch of content to back it up but that's not my real problem with this game now I'm a, first. I'm gonna give you the good news about all of this. I now I know you guys have to know that there was a a first strike demo. I had to release a video based on that, and I'm not gonna lie. The demo was about the tutorial, and the tutorial was very. It was it went really deep with the mechanics. I give them that. Next time we get deep with the mechanics, you have to, you can dodge people. You can do a lot of things with the ball, and all that. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind all that. The mechanics go deep and everything. It, it doesn't change the game, factor how you play the game. That, that's 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 what's my two cents. The animations were okay. They were okay. Like I said, I need the system to see more. Cause I'm I'm a peach user. If you guys watch my on Roll to Battle League stuff, like you like your pair of what I've been playing, it's okay. It's okay for me. It's it's just a demo of the game, so it's not a big deal. And then we got. The anim uh, then we got like I guess um victory animations. Like yeah, I, I don't I don't have a problem with that. Hyperstrike looks Hyperstrike looks really cool though, I give it that. But the animations are kinda uh, okay. They're okay. They're okay. They're pretty they're pretty dope. Then we got the music. The soundtrack is the soundtrack is fire right now. I get I, I like it, I like it. Soundtrack is fire. But the, the, then like I say, the yeah, we got the soundtrack, the artwork. The way the stadium looks, it looks good. And the reason I put so much emphasis on looks, because that's what all I've seen. Everything looks good. Now, when I played the game, <laughs> when I played the game, now, this it's like I said, it's all opinions. Don't take my opinions as a fact. I want everyone to know before I get even further with this whole, you know, this whole situation, right? Where I'm at, where I'm coming from. So here's the thing. Now, before I get any further with this topic about the gameplay, I just want to let you guys know that I've been a Strikers fan for a very, very long time. I'm, a, I'm more likely a veteran. So for a game for like you go to Super Mario Strikers, you know you have the captains and sidekicks, some items. Two Mario Strikers Charge, captains, more captains, more sidekicks. You can pick any sidekicks you want. And more stages, more by more um better you know super kicks and stuff. Hyper no with a mega strike I think that was the call. And the, basically the same thing from the first game, but looks probably look but play but better and everything. Until you get to the third game, and it looks different. It plays different. I don't know what it is. When I first played a game, I knew you had. I knew you guys. We all had like a a first strike demo online demo but to be exact that like the no, I'm gonna tell you right now if I first played the game it's all right the gameplay it is what it is now I, I was hyped you can see me was being hyped in the games yeah I, I like I said I enjoyed it I'm not saying it's not bad I'm saying it's okay it's it's just okay like I like I don't know I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna say oh this is the greatest game ever from a demo I cannot say that because I feel like the demo has a lot more to, sh to offer and to more to show of us to play, you know. 
because everyone is saying we cannot go buy a final product on the demo. That's pretty true. But like as a demo, you can play a demo. That's at least got a certain taste of what, feel of the game when you're playing it, when you, what you got from the tutorial from First Strike. Now my only pr issue is, my only issue is we the game, the game is coming. Okay. When I first saw the announcement trailer, I was hyped. Yeah, the the, the CGI <laughs> the CGI trailer was good. I liked it. Now, when I saw the gameplay, my reaction was super different. <laughs> it, I was happy. I was happy still, but my my reaction was super different when I saw the gameplay. I say something things look something things look toned the heck down, man. The gameplay looked toned down. It it slow. It still look it looks it still look destructive, but it's slow, a little slow. I wish it, I wish if the Nintendo gave him more time, they probably would have made it a little bit better. I I think at least make it fat a little bit more fast. Holy crap! I'm sorry, y'all. It, it's not my cup of speed. That's not that's not the speed I be like. The, I don't like that speed. The mechanics is okay. I don't not, and I know a lot of people are gonna be up on me about the mechanics, but. Everyone has a different view of the mechanics. I, the mechanics ain't the problem because when you get the game, you can start learning how to use the mechanics and play it while playing single player stuff. That that's not gonna be a problem. That's not gonna be the issue. The issue I have is people say it's un, it's the unfinished game and the complete game. Now, oh my god, I don't have a problem about this game. It, it well, yeah, I have a problem still, but what, what I mean by that, I mean like I don't mind playing it kind of slow. But it because because we have gears to make it better, and I don't know what gear probably be a better game. I don't, we don't know. I don't know. We never try with if I say we can't say nothing from a, a demo product like that. We can't say nothing from playing the demo. We have to play the real game to get a full experience from it. But a lot of people we have ha on the other half, we have people complaining and about the game is finished, and the other half we have to keep people are saying the game is unfinished to me. I'll be honest. Like I said, my personal opinion is this is just an opinion. It, it feels like it's unfinished, and I'm gonna explain why it's unfinished. Cause if, cause I know that more sports games haven't been get much proper respect for Nintendo, and for some reason they kind of doing the same way for the Strikers game. I don't know why they went with this route i want that for once i'm not sure this, this is a nintendo move or a next level game move if a next level game move i will respect it if it was a nintendo move i just i'm disappointed in heck of it and what i mean by that i mean like why would why would they get rid of having you pick this like your base mario character roster for being the captain and mario luigi peach bowser rosalina and then you have sidekicks like your Koopa Troopers, your Hammer Bros, your Birdos, your, your Koopas, and, and your and your Boos. I like what happened to all of that. Why y'all had that in the original game? You had that in the second game, but now everyone can be like that in the third game. Everyone can be a captain and a sidekick. My only problem is who thought that was a good idea to change all that? Yo, I I'm not mad about this. I well I yeah I'm I'm mad about this. <laughs> I know I'm contradicting myself, but uh, yeah, I'm mad about this. Because I've expected so much from a sequel than a reboot from the game. Like, I, the reason why I bring up so much infamous is because I want everyone to make it clear and understand. If this was a reboot, I would have let this slide. I would have let it slide. For a third game, we're waiting for 15 years. You mean to tell me this is all we're getting? Mario Mario Kart wasn't like that. <laughs> like I was trying to tell you, Mario Kart ain't like that. And I want to go after people that say this game is finished. You guys gotta be ashamed of yourself. You guys need to be ashamed of yourself. This game is doesn't feel finished. It doesn't feel or fin it doesn't feel finished. It may look finished, but it doesn't feel like it's finished. The game doesn't feel finished. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm I know I like I said I can't go by based off of a demo, but Yo, five. We have what five different stages, and I think levels of the stages too. That's not enough. That is not enough. I know they said we gotta have more post launches. I don't care. I don't like. I said I don't mind. I don't mind them coming up with stuff, but 
like that's that's not that's not the way it does. I don't. That's not the way it's supposed to be doing. Nintendo not supposed to be doing that. And I don't like how they're trying to make sports games like to do that. I don't know why they're doing that. Man, they didn't did it with Mario Kart when they have a bunch of stages. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, this might grind your gears for a bit. L let's say the rules were reverse. Let's just say I'm Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> hold up, hold up. You're gonna get mad at me for this, but I'm being for real with you. Let's say that Super Smash Brothers. Mario Kart 8 and I think it's Xenoblade Chronicles. Yeah, let's just let's let's just say let's 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 take them all for example. Let's just say if Mario Kart 8 Deluxe have like a game that like um you know with let's say like like 20 tracks, 20 tracks. You set the bike and cut. You have some bikes and you set some bikes and stuff. Let's say they removed all of that. And yeah, and then you come out with you come out release later patch. You guys will be pissed. At, I'm sorry, I need to stop saying that. You guys will be ticked off. You guys will be mad. You guys will really be mad about that. As strike as, as Smash Brothers have like what twenty characters and now and 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 um, my see my see my see Sakurai come out with that with twenty characters and you say he released a different. You guys will have a different tone. What I'm trying to come out with. You guys will have a different tone. Five stages of five Smash Brothers stages. Yo, this ain't this ain't a new game. Y'all act like this is a new game. No, I'm not. This yeah, this is a new game, but this is a sequel. This ain't a reboot. A sequel, we expected so much more. Okobe gonna get mad. Okobe gonna have a little opinions on this stuff. But I'm getting tired of people defending this like this is okay. No, this is not okay, y'all. Y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop that. You guys need to stop that. Oh my god. You guys need to stop defending Nintendo's actions when it comes to releasing up short content for us, man, to play and call it a new game. You, yo, and like I said before, it'll be a different tone if Smash Brothers Ultimate did the same thing. It'll be a different tone if Mario Kart 8 does the same thing. If now I'm not, I might, I might take people off here, but I'm being realistic right now. It would be the same thing if Xenoblade Chronicles 3 was the same thing like that. If Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild was like, like, like if it was was, was cut down, I don't know what some like. If you cut down a little bit more stick like you know more areas now you see you can't lock more areas so you, you guys pay off the dlc yeah you guys will have a different tone right now the reason i'm picking those games because those games are heavily content they have so much content in them but if you take away those things about mario circus what the new mario circus belly had then yeah you guys will have a different tone of it so I'm, I, like i said before it's a hit or miss type of game and I had said it, I had made a video based on it like before. I think I keep saying this before. It's a hit or miss. And like I said before, if you guys watch my online first strike online demo, the demos plays all the online plays great. The online the online plays a little great, but it seems like this the online did improve though. Wait, if because if you all connect the people online. If you connect the people with different people online, then it, it depends on how far they are. It depends on how crappy their connection is, and or how far you is from them. And I think that's okay, cause that's, cause it do it do happens to be like that sometimes. So I kind of let that slide. The online's okay with me. I never had any issues online. Um, the gameplay, the gameplay, like I said before, the gameplay is need to be top. They need to be have a little bit more speed, but I don't know, cause with gears, we're gonna have more things to show off with that. So when it comes to all that. That's it's starting to look good, man. It, that that's gonna be it. And the only thing I'm scared about this game is that it it like I said it feels a bit toned down a, a Nintendo way. And I know I know like I said if you guys if you guys compared this to the old Suckers game, it feel like it feels different. It feels a bit different. And I like I said I don't mind innovation, but. That, like I said, it just feels different to me, and I think I have to get used to controls because I don't. I think all strikers had a little complicated control scheme going on, and we have to get have to get used to it. That's the part I'm not mad about. That's, I, I, that's that didn't ground my gears. The only thing that ground my gears is when we have people saying it's not it's a finished game, and to them it's finished. And I'm gonna tell you right now, the most people that have been saying that now it's my personal opinion. There are not really. People that plays Mario Strikers games like that, or they just they, this is their first copy of Mario Strikers game, so they want so they're saying it to see so they want they won't have to be disappointed 
or what they have to hear about other people's opinions, what they think about on the game. So, the game, the game itself is okay. I, it just needs more stuff, man. It, I, I like it. It just needs more stuff. And, and everything I think about this whole demo, the demo was okay, too. It was fun. It didn't blow my mind like what the old pass game does. And like I said, I'm going to go back on the part when I said about innovation. This game, this game right now, it's missing something. I don't know what it is. It, it has, like I said, I want to see more animations and stuff. It has a somewhat, it, I don't know, it has its own edginess to Nintendo. And like I said, I don't like Nintendo, how hand, Nintendo hand, might be handling this game in the future with future contents. So, it it is not it is not the it's not that great man <laughs> it is not that great with everything that's going on something ain't right man my friends had a good time with it we i had a little good time with it but then i kind of like i said i don't want to get burnt out on the game i feel like i'm forcing myself to like this game and i don't like i don't like forcing myself to like this game if you can bring that same attention what I had with Super Mario Strikers and Super Mario Strikers Charge have had a big effect on me, then I, I want the same thing for due to this quote unquote sequel, then um <laughs> it, it should have been better. It should have been way better. And I get to talk to people saying that it's as it is it is what it is and we should let we should let Tendo do what they want with it because it's their game. No, you're sounding like a beta right now. <laughs> we are the customers. We are the customers. We we it's opinion. I know it's like I said, it's my personal opinion. It's not a tack on what you want to buy or what you not want to buy. To me, it feels like there's some things missing and it needs to show more if you want to be called a sequel. You can't call this a sequel if if there's less content coming out for it. And it, like I said before, the game is it probably has a lot more content in the um, and when the game releases, I don't even know. And they say there will be post-launch updates and future updates along with it. So we don't know what to expect from this game. I know I don't know how Nintendo's gonna handle this, you know, free DLC. I I it's this um because <laughs> when it comes to Mario Tennis and and uh, Mario Golf, that's that's what we see. It takes like a couple of months for them to come out with stuff. And you see what they did with Nintendo Switch Sports, right? I could have I could have streamed that, but like I said before, they're missing a lot of stuff. Why are they holding off thing? Why are they holding off so much content back just to make a quick buck out of it? Nintendo, you need to let your spin-off games have more work. We don't want Mario Baseball. We don't want the new Mario the next Mario Super Sluggers having um like huh, what? Like ten yeah, you guys gonna get mad at me for this. Ten ten players to play as. Wait, that's all you have to play? Yeah, that's it. It could be, it could be um, all around the field. That's it. You just have five stadiums. That's it. That and that's what people think. People think, oh, we can't wait for Mario Baseball. That's the thing. You should be scared about that because they might pull the same treatment what they did for Strikers, for the new Strikers game. We don't know. We all just don't know what you're planning to do. I like holding games off and waiting for this patch. It's going to get stale. It's going to get kind of stale, and that's what's sketchy about this game. Now I have high hopes for this game. Every people that love that, that know that they want to have high hope, high hope for this game. But we need more than that. We just need more. It's, no, it's like I said. It's just my opinion. Don't take it too hard. But the way I've been playing the games, I play Strikers Charge. I play Super Mario Strikers. They all were okay. They all were, all were very solid. I think that this this um like I said, if this was a you know if this was a um, a reboot then this would have been a big issue so i yeah that's that's all I'm, i have to say yo it's just i'm getting sick and tired of fans defending this game like they don't want to get their feelings hurt or something and no this ain't a clickbait i'm being i'm being real as possible this game ain't like this game is different than the strikers charge this different this game is different than the super mario strikers on the gamecube this is this is like a, it feels like a reboot heading into game to the switch right now it feels like a reboot heading to the switch and like i tell you i, I said i tried to explain to people that 
it's okay that if there was a reboot because we, I wouldn't be too tight. I wouldn't be too tight about it because I think that would have been a perfect first approach coming towards to a new game when we haven't played in 15 years. But we have people like complaining saying, oh, it is a finished product. We have people saying it is a finished product. We should be happy about it, what we're getting. And they, got, they already said they're getting new release content any day, any, anyway. <laughs> no, y'all. I don't mind this free content. You, you see how Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is doing? Have you, do you ever see what's going on with them? That, that game was complete. But they added more stuff to keep the game fresh. That's the part I don't care about. That's a complete game. And you guys need to learn something. New we have more we have um Mar we have like um Super Smash Brothers Ultimate and the game is finished. But they added more DLC characters. We don't need to have no DLC characters because the game is finished. We really have to worry about that, but they added more because Sakura wants to make this the biggest Smash Bros. game in history. Probably the biggest crossover fighting game in history. And I and I kind of went with it, and yeah. Like, the game is finished, y'all. The games are finished. But we we, we cannot accept this mediocrity from Nintendo when it comes to British, British practice like this. Because this is this ridiculous. i getting tired of them handling sports games like they're trashed. <laughs> I hate that. Tennis used to be fun. Golf used to be fun. Now we have strikers. My, I, like I said, hit or miss. I don't know until we get the game come out. I already got this game pre-ordered, by the way. And I will be streaming this on Twitch. Which my Twitch name is jhero94. I have made a video explaining why I think it's a hit or miss. And my opinions are exactly still the same. Nothing is changing. This game, right now, for the demo... For the demo, I play it in the tutorial system for an online right now. While the gears is to me is a solid seven out of ten, and other games are higher than that. And I, and I want this game to be like a nine out of ten at least. Because if you call this a sequel, we expected something more. Hmm. And you guys, I said it's an unfinished game. You guys should be ashamed of yourself because I think you just want Nintendo to do what you want. And you don't probably don't care for crap what, what money you spend on your game. Like I said, it's your money. Like I said before, I pre-ordered the game because I like the game. I think I need to give the game more of a chance. Because I did something that I have yet to see from the animation. This have yet to see from the gears. This is yet to say I see with a single player. So I cannot say, a, I cannot give a, a good critique review of what's going on with this game. And I'm very excited to play it. But then again, at the exact same time, I, I think I'm not that much excited to play <laughs> If that makes sense as much because of from the things I play and things I've seen. Again, my opinion doesn't have to affect your way if you want to buy the game or not. This is my get my few cents before the game releases this Friday. So, that's that. Then we have the characters. Now, I'm going to say this right now, y'all. Don't worry about Daisy. She's coming. I know she's going to have that spunkish character that all of y'all know and love since the original Strikers games. So, don't worry about her. Um, I'm still going by that theory, by the way, that I have mentioned in my other videos about we have the Strikers Club, and the Strikers Club can hold up to 20 people. And with that being said, we might be having 20 different characters as a whole, whole more of the whole base roster. And that's what that'd be the entire game, or possibly more, we never know. But I feel like we're going to get 20 complete characters to play as and that'll be it for this game now i wish they added more um you know more arenas and so on fields and so um that'll be it um now i have one more thing to say about these characters we have characters like peach and i'm a peach user and i have yet to see i like her animation I like her animation. It's just that yes, she's not that sassy enough, man. She's not that sassy enough anymore. Like, where, 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 she, where she, used, she used to be sassy in all the games, like, until this one. Nintendo, next level games, what have you done with her? Holy crap. She's not even sassy enough. Come on. Look, but that's, that's just nitpicking. I think people like her. I think people like her this way instead of being a sass. 
a sassy girl or something like that. I think she had it all. But you know, that's just me. Now, I'm gonna bring this back with innovation. And what I'm bringing about innovation, um, the game itself, I don't have a problem with. It's just that I don't like how they take the charm of Mario Strikers and turn it into something different. I wouldn't even call it innovation. What I mean by this is, you kind of just take the captains and psychics, like you know, the captains and psychics for the base roster, and you turn, and then everyone beats a comes the captain and the psychic. I didn't like that. I don't even like that. I think that's what turns multiple off. And I hate, I, guess, I hate to say it, but I, when I think when casuals want to buy the game for the Switch, and if they're, and they're expecting that to be like the old past games, they're gonna be disappointed because this game is going to be about everyone's become a captain and psychic. Why? I don't know. I don't know why I've been, I don't know why they go with this route. It's like, again, I know I probably mentioned this earlier before, but why y'all went with this route? The game, the game is already fine as it was before. I don't, like, all y'all could have do is save y'all some time. Like I said, I don't mind innovation. I don't mind new, I don't mind having new stuff. I don't mind having a new gimmick. But if you take that away and <laughs> add new stuff in a new gimmick and then everyone be the captain of psychic they'd be like what's the point of having a captain of psychics then it's just a soccer game with no captain of psychic with no not, nothing to be proud of if you know what i mean like the old games have like in these games the captains mean something and the sidekicks mean something you take those two away and Everybody being the captain and a psychic is totally different and I don't like it That's the only I think that's my only pet peeve of this whole thing and You guys check you guys just take the flavor out the game by doing that and say hey everyone's a captain and psychic No, it can be like I said y'all putting more work into yourself. I've been already been saying this to so many times y'all putting in so much work with the customizations and how characters can do like I said before I don't mind it add that but do not take a way that important feature of the game where it used to be fun with like that captain and psychics captain and psychics man like when you're a captain i don't like i said you're supposed to be having the mega strikes the, the everything you're supposed to be doing with the team you put the yeah you're supposed to be doing a lot of stuff like i say it like that i don't mind i don't mind being innovative but do not change and take away what and what makes it fun as i told my friends this it's okay to be innovative. It's maybe creative. It's okay to make a sequel from the game better than it is. Your your mission, if you're making a sequel of the game, you're you're supposed to be making the game way better than it already is. But I'm going to say this one more time: the sequel supposed to be way better than the past games. Like I told you before, the only thing the past game did, the only thing that the, that this new game did that the past game couldn't do is add more deep with mechanics with the ball movement. That's it. That's that's all they had. <laughs> That's all he did. That was right. But like I said before, you guys removed captains and psychics. The the roles of being a captain and a psychic is different. And I try to talk about this. I told my friends this one more time. Um, this game, as a sequel, I want this to be fun. I want it to be great. Don't remove and add things. You need to keep and add things. To make it a better sequel i don't like when you guys remove stuff only remove stuff if it's not necessary to do it i feel like that was un unnecessary to remove the purpose of being a captain and a sidekick so that that makes no sense i say why the heck they took that out that's been in past games for like for two different games they for this one they just say hey let's everyone be a captain and a psychic there's no purpose for that there's no purpose to, to be happy to be a captain or a psychic anymore like what what was that uh, i don't know what was that but like i said y'all i think i have enough to talk about this whole game in general because i i don't want to ruin everyone's vibe on this because <laughs> i'm just getting my few cents what's going on with this game and like i said before i pre-ordered it already and i'm ready to play it like everyone else is all right everyone thanks for listening to my concerns and thoughts about this upcoming soccer game 
please let me know in the comments section if you're going to get this game regardless of what I say or did my opinion for the game makes you hesitant on buying the game. Stay tuned for more Mario Circus Battle League gameplay this Friday while I go live on Twitch which I'll be putting my name in the comment section below and most likely, most likely you guys be able to watch me play it. If, if so, get ready for this. I'm ready for this game. So have a great day y'all and stay strong heroes.